Air horns on semi-trucks are one of those things you just can't ignore. They are loud, they are powerful, and they are there for a very good reason. Unlike the little beep-beep of a car horn, these horns are built to be heard no matter how noisy the environment is. Semi-trucks need something as loud as air horns because of their size, weight, and the kind of situations they deal with on the road every day. So, how do air horns work? Unlike the electrical horns you'll find in most cars, air horns use compressed air. Inside the horn is a diaphragm, and when compressed air is pushed through it, the diaphragm vibrates to create that unmistakable blast of sound. This sound can cut through almost any background noise, whether it's the rumble of other vehicles, construction sounds, or even blaring music. It's not just loud, it's designed to grab attention instantly. Now, why do semi-trucks even need something this loud? Well, these are massive vehicles we're talking about. They can weigh up to 40 tons when fully loaded and take much longer to stop or turn than a regular car. If a driver suddenly notices a car drifting into their lane, a pedestrian stepping off the curb without looking, or even a distracted cyclist, they don't have the luxury of time. They need a way to warn people quickly and a loud horn does just that. Highways are another place where air horns are important. Think about how fast traffic moves on a highway. A truck driver might see a car dangerously weaving between lanes or someone slamming on their brakes right in front of them. In these situations, a simple flash of the headlights isn't going to cut it. The air horn ensures that the warning is not only seen but also heard immediately. It's the difference between someone noticing the danger and completely missing it. City streets are another beast entirely. They're noisy, chaotic and filled with unpredictable situations. Pedestrians might be distracted by their phones, cyclists might not see the truck coming, and smaller vehicles can sneak into the truck's blind spots. Semi-trucks have huge blind spots, areas around the truck where the driver simply can't see what's happening. Air horns also play a big role in communication. Truckers use them to signal to other drivers, especially in situations where quick decisions need to be made. For example, on a narrow road or during tricky maneuvers like reversing, a quick blast from the horn can let everyone know what's happening. It's not just about avoiding accidents, it's about keeping the flow of traffic smooth and predictable. Did you know air horns weren't originally made for trucks? Their story begins at sea, where ships used them to signal through thick fog. Later, trains adopted them for safety and eventually they found their way to the open road, becoming a hallmark of trucking. Back in the early 1900s, air horns were mainly used on ships and trains. Ships used them to send signals in foggy conditions when visibility was poor, and trains relied on them to warn people and animals near the tracks. It wasn't until later that people realized air horns would be perfect for trucks too. After all, trucks needed something loud and reliable to deal with the growing traffic on roads. Over time, air horns have evolved. The early versions were big and bulky, but modern air horns are designed to be more efficient and even stylish. They are often made to be aerodynamic, which not only looks sleek, but also helps reduce wind resistance, improving the truck's overall performance. Some air horns even allow drivers to customize the tone, letting them choose different sounds or patterns for their horn blasts. It's a small touch, but it makes a big difference in personalizing the truck. Some truck drivers may choose to install different types of horns, such as air horns or musical horns, to create a unique sound. One thing that surprises a lot of people is how air horns are powered. Since semi-trucks already have air compressors for their braking systems, it made sense to use that same compressed air for the horn. This means air horns don't rely on electricity, which makes them extremely reliable. As long as the truck has air in its system, the horn will work. Think about the classic honk gesture. Kids everywhere know this one, pumping their arms up and down to signal a truck driver to honk their horn. It's like a little game between truckers and kids on the side of the road or in passing cars. Drivers love participating because it's a simple way to connect with people and share a moment of fun. For kids, hearing the horn after doing the gesture feels like magic, as if they just got a giant truck to say hello. This tradition has turned air horns into more than just a tool, they are a way for truckers to connect with the world around them. The drivers may use lower volume systems or alternatives like electric horns in urban settings where regulations might apply. Air horns also have made their way into pop culture. They are featured in movies, TV shows and ads where trucks and drivers are often portrayed as rugged, dependable and a little larger than life. 
whether it's a scene of a truck barreling down the highway with its horn blasting, or a trucker using the horn to make a dramatic entrance, air horns help create a larger story about trucking. They add character and attitude to the trucks we see on screen, turning these vehicles into more than just machines. They become symbols of freedom and adventure. Truckers have a lot of pride in their rigs, and air horns are a part of that. Many drivers customize their horns to make them unique. Some go for horns with a specific musical tone, while others choose louder or more distinct sounds that stand out from the crowd. It's like giving their truck a voice that reflects their own personality or style. These customizations might be practical, like making sure the horn is heard in all conditions, but they're also about fun and individuality. Modern air horns have come a long way from the early designs. Today, they include features that make them quieter for use in cities where blasting a loud horn might not be the best idea. Some newer air horns are even integrated with automated systems that adjust their volume or tone based on the situation. For example, a truck might use a gentler sound for a quick warning in a residential area or save the full blast for emergencies on the highway. These advancements show how air horns are evolving to meet the needs of modern trucking. Of course, there are rules about air horn usage. Some places have strict regulations on how loud horns can be and when they're allowed to be used. This is to make sure they're not used unnecessarily or in ways that might disturb people. Truckers have to follow these rules, balancing the need to use their horns for safety with being considerate of others. It's a reminder that while air horns are powerful, they're tools that need to be used responsibly. Even with all the fancy new technology in trucks today, like advanced braking systems, cameras, and automated alerts, air horns are still just as important as ever. They're one of the few tools a trucker can use instantly no matter what. When you need to warn someone fast, pressing that horn is much quicker than relying on an automated system to kick in. Air horns are a hands-on safety measure, and that makes them irreplaceable. But air horns aren't just about practicality, they're a link to the past. Trucking has changed a lot over the years, but air horns remain a constant. They connect today's drivers with the generations of truckers who came before them. Younger drivers learning the ropes get to experience the same tools and traditions that seasoned truckers have used for decades. It's a way of keeping the spirit of trucking alive, even as the industry moves forward. What's really special about air horns is how they're both practical and symbolic. On one hand, they are an essential safety tool that saves lives. On the other hand, they are part of what makes trucking unique. They are a big, bold reminder of the independence, resilience, and pride that truckers bring to the road every day. Whether it's a kid pumping their arm for a honk, a custom horn blasting a tune, or a driver giving a quick warning on the highway, air horns are as much a part of the trucking world as the trucks themselves. Air horns will always be relevant because they're not just about the sound, they're about the message. Whether that message is watch out or hello, it's delivered loud and clear. For truckers, it's a way to communicate, stay safe, and carry on a tradition that's as big as the trucks they drive. For the rest of us, it's the sound of the open road. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring the bell icon so you always stay updated.